Hello my lovely Scorpios. I'm gonna do a love reading from now up until uh, one week in love. It's a general reading so it may or may not resonate for everybody. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. It's a reading for everybody who has Scorpio in Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and also for the cross watchers of course. I'm a Dutch tarot reader so I normally do my uh, readings in Dutch. Please bear with me if it takes a little bit longer for me to find uh, the right words. <clears throat> then uh, I want to thank everybody who uh, subscribed to my channel. I just started my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for subscribing. Haven't you uh, subscribed right now? Then please uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell and the like button. I would highly appreciate it. I started off with uh, a couple of Oracle cards. Uh, from the Romans Angel deck. Three cards wanted to come out for you. First card out is Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others, Scorpio. Second card out for you is Make the Effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Third card out is New Love, Scorpio. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So maybe you're thinking about a person right now who stirred your romantic feelings. Maybe a new person is coming into your life. Uh, you have to take the steps, make the effort, flirt with this person if that's needed in this situation, of course. But we'll see uh, with the tarot. Um, I also took a card from the Keepers of the Light deck. Dwell. Cool is the card that came out for you. Remember that you're on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. So take one step at a time. Don't move too fast. Just take one step at a time. And it's worth to taking the steps you're guided to take for great love. Then I have a card from the Gaia Oracle deck for you, and that's Zen Garden, Inner Sanctuary. So uh, at this moment, it might be um, you're uh, taking a look inwards in yourself and um, placing yourself on the first uh, uh, on the first place um, right now. Then we have another card from the Soul's Journey. Imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of, uh, aspect of my mind. I embrace and nourish the crea creative aspect of my mind. So um, embrace your creativity at this moment. That's what this card is saying. Then I took another card from the Moonology Oracle cards. And this card came out for you. A new romantic cycle begins. So that's a second card that says a new love has stirred your feelings or maybe a new love is coming into your life, Scorpio. So I'm very curious. I want to have uh, three tarot cards for that general energy and love for Scorpio at this moment. Universe, please give me three cards for Scorpio. I already shuffled the cards. Three cards for Scorpio for the general energy and love, please. Two. Oops. Yes. And there we have three cards. First card out. Knight of Wands. Fire energy. So you might be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Second card that came out was the Knight of Pentacles. Earth energy. So you might be dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn. And then we have the Two of Swords. 
air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So we have all the energies except for your own energy <laughs> right now. Uh, no water energy on the table uh, up until now. We have two knights, Scorpio. So it might be you're dealing with two um, persons in your life. We have the Knight of Wands and we have the Knight of Pentacles. So with this Two of Swords, you um, thinking a lot, overthinking a situation, not knowing what to do. With the Twos, we always have a choice of two or a situation with two sides. With this Two Knights, I... Uh, yeah, I, it might be you're dealing with two people and you, do, you have to make a choice in love. It, it might be if you're dealing with an, uh, a fire sign and an earth sign, maybe a past person or a person you're still in a relationship with right now and a person um, who stirred your romantic feelings, a new love coming into your life. But we'll see, this can also be one of your energies. Um, I feel with the Knight of Wands, uh, somebody wants to um, uh, come in and uh, this person has a lot of passion towards you. It can also be your energy, you having a, a lot of passion, uh, physical uh, attachment, uh, attraction towards somebody. Um, this is a very fast energy. Uh, this can also be a little bit of player energy so um, it can also be you're in the in a contact with somebody who has a little bit of player tendencies um, so watch out for that then we have the knight of pentacles this is a very slow energy and this person wants to make you a stable offer or you want to want to bring a stable offer offer to the table so that's the choice you have right now and uh, you're thinking about uh, sitting up in your head not knowing what to do in this situation so we'll clarify why is here the knight of wands for scorpio in love why is here the knight of wands for scorpio in love why is here the knight of wands thank you two more cards please for the knight of wands why is here the knight of wands for scorpio Another one, please. Thank you. Another card, please. Yes. Okay. First card out. Five of Cups. Water energy. There you are. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy. Then we have the Three of Wands. Fire energy again. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. And we have another Knight. So I think you're definitely dealing with two persons. You have two persons on your mind. This is water energy again. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Can also be your energy. Uh, with uh, these cards clarifying the Knight of Wands. I feel like uh, this Knight of Wands is you or your person. Uh, reminiscing about the past. Thinking about good times um, you already had. Uh, but maybe uh, it turned uh, around in a not so good uh, situation and you're having um, yeah you wished things would turn out better than they did you had might have been uh, waiting or your person is waiting and wants to come towards you with an offer of love this is definitely uh, a person uh, Feeling a lot of love for you, uh, Scorpio. Right now, waiting and reminiscing um, and thinking about how uh, things could have been different. Or uh, maybe your person is thinking about, maybe I uh, had, um, I've been more uh, concentrated on the passion between us. The physical attraction and not so emotionally. And uh, this person wants to show emotions right now uh, towards you or showing more love instead of uh, being all about the passion. Um, they can be regretting this, but they're still a little bit uh, in a waiting uh, stage at this moment. 
or you are and you don't know how to go further with the situation and not knowing um, which uh, person to choose the one from the past uh, that might have been a lot of passion but not so much um, stableness not so um, not so much commitment for the future so we'll see we'll clarify the knight of pentacles oh that one came out fast please give me two more cards for the knight of pentacles for scorpio knight of pentacles for scorpio why is here the knight of pentacles for scorpio please give me two more cards for the knight of pentacles in the universe knight of pentacles for scorpio Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio. Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio. Reverse the rules and it, as it applies to your situation, uh, Scorpio. Please, yes, thank you. Okay, first card out for the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Six of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth, Energy again. And then we have the Moon. And we have the Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Air, Energy. With these cards clarifying the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this night, uh, somebody, uh, it's you or your person, you want to have a relationship with an equal give and take with this uh, Six of Pentacles. With the moon, uh, things can be um, unclear or uh, this Knight of Pentacles has took a long time overthinking the situation, um, shining a light on the situation and uh, Taking a long time before they now decided to come forward to you with this page of swords. This can also be your person had an epiphany, also with the moon, divinely guided, um, that he or she wants to come forward to you. And there will be a communication towards you from this person. Why is here the Two of Swords for Scorpio? Why is here the Two of Swords for Scorpio? Please give me three cards. Thank you. One more card for the Two of Swords for Scorpio. Ooh. First card out. The Hierophant. So Scorpio, you might be dealing with a Taurus. A very intuitive person, traditionally holding on to uh, traditions, things uh, learned um, while growing up. Things uh, your person uh, or you um, uh, took from your childhood with you. Um, a very wise uh, person with a big innerly uh, knowing. Has a lot of values uh, which uh, he or she wants to um, bring uh, to the people. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Very stable uh, queen, family, life, uh, also financial situation is very important. Um, this queen wants stability in her life. And then we have the four of wands, also the 1111 card, make a wish. This can uh, be marriage. Because we also have the Hierophant here. Those two cards together. 
also very divine uh, energy uh, right here on the table. Um, you're in your head, you're wanting something stable uh, with this Two of Swords and the cards uh, clarifying it. You want something stable, you want a marriage. You want a long-term commitment from your person. So you're now uh, thinking about uh, how do I, how will I get this committed relationship uh, with this Knight of Pentacles? That's a stable one. The Knight of Wands is very passionate. It can also be that you have one person who was very oriented, uh, very passion oriented, and now um, is coming forward. Uh, with a message wanting to uh, build with you in the future, wanting to have a stable commitment and you're up in your head. So I will ask for three. First I want to know why the Four of Wands is here. Why is the Four of Wands here for Scorpio? Why is the Four of Wands here for Scorpio? Yes. Four of Wands, Scorpio. Four of Cups, Ten of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. So we have Water, Air and Earth energy here, uh, clarifying the Four of Wands. It can be you're afraid. This person won't um, won't offer you this stable commitment uh, you are wanting. This marriage. Um, it can also be uh, you're in, up in your head and you're not seeing uh, what this person is uh, wanting to give to you because you're still in a Ten of Swords energy. Um, Ten of Swords is also a closure. The, so uh, this can be a closure of your past. This can also be a closure of... Um, um, being up in your head or maybe something happened in the past I don't know uh, between the two of you already and uh, it hurt you a lot and you're um, ready to leave this behind maybe you're still in a healing phase um, also with the inner sanctuary here and um, yeah the other cards here on the table but a new cycle will begin with the 10. So this stableness, maybe a marriage, will come into a fruition for you. Definitely with this Ace of Pentacles handed by you from the universe. Divinely guided, new beginnings, stableness. Um, a new begin, uh, beginning, so that's very beautiful. Can I have three more cards for the outcome for Scorpio? Three more cards for the outcome for Scorpio. Three more cards for the outcome for Scorpio. Thank you. Two more cards for Scorpio for the outcome in love for Scorpio. The outcome in love for Scorpio. Outcome in love. Yes, and one more card please, universe. Thank you very much. One more card for Scorpio for the outcome. Outcome in love. Show me the right cards. First card out. Six of Swords. Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Then we have the Hermit, Virgo Energy. And then we have the Six of Wands, Fire Energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. 
Oh, this is a very beautiful message for you, Scorpio. I feel with the Six of Swords, you're leaving a situation behind. You're leaving the situation um, overthinking, uh, making a choice. You're um, heading to, towards cal calmer waters, um, releasing uh, conflicts in the past. Uh, also with the Ten of Swords we had right here. You're releasing everything um, that has to do with the past and you're going towards calmer waters. Also within yourself, you're shining a light. Maybe you're uh, taking a time off, shining an inner light. Um, and after this period of um, turning into yourself, the romantic new cycle will begin and you will have a stable new beginning with this ace of pentacles and you will have a victory with this six of wands victory for scorpio so that's very beautiful scorpio i want you to think of one question and then we're gonna wrap up uh, this reading i want you to think of one question and i will uh, get you a angel answer card these are in dutch i will translate it in English for you. Please think of one question. And I'm going to shuffle the cards. Please universe give me one answer on the question Scorpio has in mind. One answer please for Scorpio in love. One answer for Scorpio in love please. One card. One card as an answer on the question Scorpio has in mind. Please, universe, yes. Oh, we have two cards came out. We have, in Dutch, behulpzame mensen. People in your surroundings that will help you. Helpful people. And then we have, in Dutch, vreedzame oplossing. To think how I uh, translate this in English. Uh, vreedzaam, it's like um, ooh, how do I say this in a solution that's for everybody a good solution. That's the best way to put it. There will be a satisfying solution for all parties in this situation. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. If you haven't uh, liked, please like my video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I wish you a lot of luck and hopefully I see you next time. Bye bye.